This is a short video on how you can create your own drawing sheet from scratch or you, whether, or you can import your own if you've already got a drawing sheet format in, in a, other 2D formats such as DXF or DWG. So if you want to create a drawing sheet from scratch, what a lot of people actually do is they look at the templates that are already there in SpaceClaim and they then modify one of the ones that's already there. So I've just created the new drawing sheet and just these are the default templates in SpaceClaim. So you can see we've got basic A4 ones um, to different American size sizes or we've got UK sizes such as A3. Some people like to like the, the layout of the A3 one um, and that gives them a starting point. So if you are going to create your drawing a drawing sheet from scratch, you could always use this as a little bit of a guide and modify it to suit. So to do this, uh, your drawing sheet formats are located in this, this location. So if I go to space claim options, you can find your drawing sheet locations by going to detailing on the left hand side and then going to size and format. And this is the location where all the default templates are found. If you do create your own drawing sheet, um, you will also need to put it into this location. So let's say, for example, I wanted to modify or create my own drawing sheet, but I wanted to base it on this A3 SC doc. So this is the location it's found. Uh, so if I go to that location, and that'll be the C drive, program files, ANSYS, whichever version you're on. So 212 is the latest, SC, DM, library, and then drawing formats. So I might want to edit the A3 one. So I'm going to open the A3 one. I'm just going to close this down, first of all. And to open it, we can literally just drag and drop it into Space Claim. So we can drag and drop it into this gray bar, and that will open up that format. So I might like this format, but I might want to make a few edits, like maybe the wording, the, the things that I don't like. I might want to add an image, um, that sort of thing. So if I like this, but I just want to change the cage code to say something else, I can literally delete it. So you might want that to be creator. Um, you can add, these are just lines and so you can add new bars. So I might want to add a logo. So I'm going to sketch a new rectangle here. Um, that maybe will hold my logo. So if I wanted to add a logo to this, I can find a logo or I can go to the assembly tab, insert file. And uh, we can just drag and drop again is the best way to import a logo I find. So if I go to pictures or documents, I can just drag and drop a logo into Space Claim as such. That'll bring your logo in. When resizing your logo on the left hand side, I always like to keep my aspect ratio. So just keep that so when you're resizing it, it resizes uniformly. And I might be happy with that as such. But remember, you can make any more edits to these. You can move things along. You can delete things. Everything here can be customized. So this is really just a bit of a guide. Once you're happy with your drawing sheet, what you will want to do is go to File, Save As. Save it as a space claim document. So I'm going to call this one A3 Origin. And because this is the C drive, you won't be able to save directly back into this file. Um, so I like to save it to my desktop. And then I can drag and drop it into that file. So if I go back, this is the location where I want to drag and drop it to. Um, I know that I saved it to my desktop. This is the file. I'm going to copy it and paste it into here. Make sure I hit continue. So now that's in my um, drawing sheet location format folder. Uh, if I create a model now very quickly, I should be able to use my new drawing format. So new drawing sheet, and I should be able to find mine in here. So that's the origin one that I've just created. If you wish to use that as your default format, remember you can always go to file, space claim options, size and format, and then just choose this as your default. So whichever one you've got selected here will always be your default. Click OK. Whenever you open a drawing sheet from then on, that will be your default uh, drawing sheet. So the next step of the video is if you've already got a drawing sheet format,
created, this might be in a DXF format or a DWG format, and you want to import that into Space Plan. So to do that, uh, let's just close down a few of these. To do that, first thing you want to do is actually open your DWG format or DXF format. So this is a, a DXF format that I've already pre-set up. And the first thing you want to do is just check that it is in the right location. So everything you want to just check everything looks okay. So like you can see here, I might just want to quickly just move that up a little bit. Uh, just check everything looks okay. And also check that the corner of your drawing sheet, so the very corner is in the zero zero axis. So right up against this X, uh, your world origin. So this is the zero 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 axis. And we can see that the drawing sheet corner is exactly in that zero 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 location so if, if it is then, then um, you're good to go so if it isn't just uh, obviously shift this around just use the move tool to, to move everything about um, but if it is go to file new create a new design and what you want to do is go to file new and then create an empty drawing sheet so create an empty drawing sheet this is literally just a blank piece of paper First thing you'll want to do is just change the size. So I know that mine's an A3, uh, my DXF's an A3. So this is now just a, a blank A3 format. And then you want to go to your assembly tab, click on insert file and find your DXF. So you might want to first search for AutoCAD drawings. I can see there, that this is my drawing sheet. Click open and that should drop it onto that drawing. Again, remember you can just modify a few things. If you want to add a logo here, again, remember just, just um, find your logo and drag and drop it into here. And you can put your logo anywhere on the, on the, on the um, drawing, resize it to, to suit. Again, when you're happy with your drawing sheet, once you've got it, once you think, you think it looks okay, do the same thing we did before where we did a file a save as a space claim document. I'm going to call it A3 Origin 1. Save that and again save it to my desktop. And then we're going to again drag and drop it into the same location. So go to Program Files, ANSYS V212, Library, or SCDM, sorry, then Library then draw in formats. So I want to drag and drop it into here. So I know it's in my desktop. That's the one. Copy and paste it into there. So this is my drawing format that's come from a DXF or a DWG format. That should now be located in my drawings. So again, if I draw a block, file, new drawing sheet, and I should be able to change my format to this one that I just created. This is the one that's come from a DXF. So if you've already got your pre